Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, I'm going to be going through the first part of a really tiny mini series about compatibility with other mods. And the first one is going to be our dictionary. So let's get started. For those of you that don't know, the Or Dictionary is something built into Forge that allows you to have your ores be compatible with other similar ores and other mods. So for example, my copper ore can be used in crafting recipes that involves mechanisms copper ore. They can be used interchangeably as they are both registered as a copper ore in the Or Dictionary. So firstly, what we're going to do is go into Util and create a new package called Compact. Standing for compatibility. And then create a new class called Or Dictionary Compact. And inside of here, we are going to create one function, public static void register ors. However, the or dictionary doesn't just deal with ors, it deals with ingots, dusts, and thing, all things to do with materials. So we're going to want to put some lines in here. Or dictionary, net.minecraft.audict, dot, and then down here there's three type of register ors. Block or, which obviously we use for ingot blocks and actual ors. Item or, which will be used for things like ingots and dusts. And then item stack can be used for multiple things, but I don't really ever use that. So we're going to register or the string name. If you go onto the Forge website, I shall leave a link in the description, mcforge.readthedocs.io. Then go down to, inside of utilities, go to or dictionary. And you can see the naming schemes down in common or dictionary names. So prefixes can be or, ingot, nugget, dust, gem, die, block, stone, crop, slab, stair, pane, and so on. And it can also be dust, gear, rod, stick, plate, and all the things that are likely in mods. So obviously we're going to have or as we're going to write copper or. And then the suffixes are the materials, so you can have wood, glass, iron, gold, and so on. And you can also have modded items like copper, aluminium, lead, steel, and all of the modded items. So I'm going to have copper. Making sure you put it like this, with the syntax of lowercase first, then a capitalization for each new word. And then the or, block in it dot or copper then we can also register an ingot or dictionary dot register or we'll use the item one this time the prefix of ingot and the suffix of copper and in here item in it dot ingot copper As I said, you can have all the copper dusts, you can have blocks and so on. You can re register each of these inside of this register ors function. And it will make it so all the copper ors work with copper ors from other mods. So if we go into handlers, registry handler, and put this inside of init registries, or dictionary compact. dot register ors. I'm now going to compile this. I'm going to install another mod with copper ore and then you can see that it will work cross compatibility. Okay so we're now in a world that has Industrial Craft 2 installed as well as my tutorial mod. So if you look here the recipe for the induction furnace inside of Industrial Craft 2 is seven copper ingots, an electric furnace, an advanced machine casing. Put the electric furnace, advanced machine casing, and then we can use my copper ingots from my mod as they're both registered as the same thing. 
or you can use the industrial craft ones as well. Here's industrial craft two copper ingot, advanced machine casing, and an electric furnace. If we use the industrial craft two one, it still crafts the same thing. So that is the basis of our dictionary and this will increase compatibility with other mods greatly. In the next episode, I will be showing you how to implement your mod with just enough items. So things like your custom furnace will show recipes as well as all your other recipes in your mod. So if you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching guys. My name has been Harry and goodbye.